Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to Exchange Games Live, the first ever episode 8 of Exchange Games Live. My name is Mark Matthews. I will be your host this evening as we take a throwback to the 90s. I am so excited. I heard about this game a while back and I could not wait. I am an 80s born child born and raised on Ninja Turtles and Saturday morning cartoons and there are probably about four games I remember playing on the NES and that is Double Dragon, Ninja, Ninja Gaiden 2, Battle Toads, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. So let's just jump right on into it today, guys. I'm so excited. I've been jamming to this to this beat for like the last 15, 20 minutes, and it hits hard. So we're going to start a new game. And we're going to discard power levels. Yes. We're going to start chill, okay, gnarly. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start with okay. We're going to start with okay. What's going on, Emily? Oh my gosh, how to play. Lots of buttons, lots of buttons. Got it, got it, we'll figure it out. It's a beat em up, it's a beat em up. We've done this before, what's up Joseph? My Puerto Rican stallion, what's up man, how are you? Hope things are good. All right, so we got a pick here. You can tell a lot about a person by who their favorite Ninja Turtle is. I have got to go with my boy Mikey. Let me know in the comments exactly who your favorite Ninja Turtle is. That's going to be the question of today. Please, please tell me who your favorite Ninja Turtle is. Love to hear it. Oh my god, this is so good. April Splinter, Donatello. Oh my god, it's Vern. It's Vern. When was the last time you saw that face? I would be remiss if I didn't wish everybody a happy belated Father's Day. I hope everyone had a great weekend. You know I did. I was smoking my meats. Smoked those three tri-tips and a brisket. They were pretty good. They were pretty good. Cowabunga! Who was going to be the first to do it? I knew someone was going to be the first to do it. Good to see you too, brother. Raphael, you would like Raphael, Emily. You would like Raphael. He's a little sassy. He's a little sassy. Job breaking news. Oh, Grand's here. Saying the tri-tips were delicious. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness, this takes me back. This takes me back. All right, let's figure this out here. Oh, feels so good. Already got hit. Already hit. That's okay. Look at him. He's back there. Just he's just he's just trying to do his job. He's just back there working. That felt good. It's not quite Halo. I've had an ex I've had a great time playing Halo the last couple weeks, and. Uh, so this, I, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I think I could play Halo for every week on the stream. But this had to be played. It had to be played. Hey, what's up, Cody? What's up? I need to... Oh, thank you. Thank you. I do need to know that audio thing. I appreciate you, brother. Ooh. Sneaking in on me here. Let's do a little, little up cut. Does anybody remember playing the old Ninja Turtle arcade game? I mean, this is like riding a bike. He ain't even got no keyboard. He doesn't even have a keyboard. Uh-oh. That was not that was not the right button. That felt good. That super felt good. Donatello all day. Okay, Ryan. Donatello. All right. I thought I'd have more Michelangelo people out there. I guess it's a, it's a little on the nose, though, I think. Yeah. 
I do want to remind everybody that in the description and in the comments, we're going to be dropping uh, this week's links, and we'll go over those here in just a little bit. We found burn. We found burn. But there are some links in the comments, some great deals this week. Uh, I know the gaming monitors are on there. He, coming at me with a spoon. Coming at me with a spoon. Okay, we need to reset here. Feels good. Feels good. Purple team. The purple team. Are you talking about Donatello or the foot soldiers? Got to get it. Got to get it. Oh, we're back in the game. We're back in the game now. Oh, these guys got shields, so we gotta we gotta charge up a little bit. Got him. I remember those high kicks. I remember those high kicks. You gotta fight fire with fire. Oh. Is that Bebop or Rocksteady? I can't remember. I think that's Bebop. these guys got him got him old Donatello's wooden stick don't play that's right always been a nunchuck guy all right let's see here Trying to save my supers because I know there's probably going to be a boss at the end of each level. So, can y'all hear everything fine? Is all my levels okay? Somebody give me a yay or nay on the levels. We got a kind of a new setup here. save that piece until we need it. Got him. Cool. Oh, there he is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bebop bad news boar. Let's go. got this give me a little super give me a little super not like this all right He cannot be hit while he's moving. Nope. 
Sorry for the radio silence. Oh, I was trying to do a no hit for the rest of it. Here we go. Got him. All right. Oh my gosh. So much fun. So much fun. So real quick in between levels. Oh my goodness. We just jumped right into it today. I want to welcome everybody to the show. That was fantastic. We're playing the brand new, just released last week, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. We're playing it today on the PS5, but it's available on just about anything you want to play it on. Uh, I would encourage everybody, if you haven't already, to uh, check the links in the description um, that we have and also in the comments. Uh, we have a bunch of great deals this week. We have uh, some Sony TVs. We also have some... Uh, we have a lot of TVs, TCL TVs, uh, gaming monitors are on there as well, including the uh, the the 240 hertz LG 27 inch monitor. Things insane. Uh, we also have some Linksys, uh, some storage, and some Fitbit stuff, some wearable tech. Uh, GoPros are back on are back on the link list as well as some Nintendo Switch controllers and accessories, guys. So make sure you take a look at those. Uh, make great gift ideas if you're still waiting for that uh, last minute Father's Day gift that you missed. We got you covered. We've got you covered. So let's just keep moving right along here. I uh, had a great week last week. We were playing Halo, and we also had an interview with uh, Staff Sergeant Mackle, who was in the comments just a second ago. So it was great to have him last week. I hope we get to do more of those in the in the future. I'm talking subject matter experts, some gamers. We're going to have some, uh, uh, I don't know, anybody. Just sit down and have a conversation about video games. I'm, I'm all about it. So if that's you, you just let me know. Bodacious. Keep the, keep the turtle references coming. Keep them coming. Big Apple. Oh my gosh. This is so good. All right. Once again. Once again. Ooh, a lot of that felt good. A lot of that felt good. Oh, throwing him at the screen. All day. All day. Oh, I thought I got away from that. All right, new guys. Too easy. Come on, come on. Oh. What we got here? Bit of a little paper. Oh man, I got. What do you got? What do the yellow guys do? Oh, nunchuck throwers or ninja star throwers. I knew it. Oh my gosh, I remember these guys. I remember these guys because they were right in the in the in the Ninja Turtle arcade game. These guys came out in the first level by the elevator. Feeling good. All right, I was like, I'm not falling for that one. Too easy. You gotta get that timing right. Here we go. Too good. Too good. Uh, 
just how I planned it. Just how I planned it. Oh, check out the run animation. You ready? Here we go. Wow. Some things never change. We'll take the pizza. We'll take the pizza. Too easy. All right, guys, so one real quick question of the day. I want to know everyone's favorite turtle. I've got some Donatellos. I've got a Raphael. I think you can also play a Splinter in this game as well. And April, which is different, which I thought was pretty cool. Another Raphael. All you sassy ones out there. Thank you, Neely. Thank you, Neely. Oh, I, I knew Amanda was going to be a Raphael. Got a Leonardo. Okay, fair enough. All right, Rocksteady, what you got? What you got? What you got? Okay. Clean up the trash real quick. Lot going on. Best to ever do it. Best to ever do it. So I will say that if you are a fan in any way, shape, or form of the classic beat em ups. There's not a whole lot of them that I could say that I have played that have done them better than this. Uh, I would say of my favorites growing up, of the Battletoads, uh, the Ninja Turtles, the Ninja Gaidens, all that stuff, that um, uh, Ninja Turtles is by far the one I played the most. And this feels, it feels updated and modern, but s so it doesn't play as like the old one is quite as stiff. It's still got a lot of fluidity to it. Um, the response time on uh, on the buttons seem seem different. The combo system is crazy. So if you guys are interested in this, it's not an expensive game at all. It's a twenty dollar game or twenty. I think it's I think it's twenty five dollar game on all of the uh, on all of the e shops that I saw it on. Okay, mutants. So we've done. Jaw breaking news. We've done Big Apple at 3 p.m. and now we're doing Mutants Over Broadway. I wonder if they have like the hoverboard levels. Mutants I wonder if they used to have like skateboard levels and hoverboard levels. Oh. Oh. Simpsons at the arcade. That's a good one too. Oh, it is. It is a skateboard level. They thought of everything. Do you guys remember, have you guys ever played Battletoads and they had a level like this and it was like, 
one of the hardest levels of any video game ever made. Like, it still, to this day, is just impossible. There we go. Now we're feeling it. These guys, I don't know about. I don't like these guys. I bet towards the end of the game, this right here gets a little, gets a little crazy. Caught me slipping. <laughs> There's way too much going on. That felt good. That was well timed. That was that was the best time pizza ever. Well. Got it. There we go. Lion King on Genesis has a similar Oh yeah yeah yeah. Lion King, Lion King is a tough one too. I think, uh, what was it, uh, Jurassic Park on Sega? Like, their games are. Everyone wants to talk about like Elden Ring and Dark Souls and how they're the hard. I mean, games used to be really hard. And I think I've heard like one of the theories I've heard on that is that they used to not be able to be very long games. Like they they used to not be able to make these games be like. 40, 50, 60 hour games. And so the way that they got around that to give people value and content is they made the games just as hard as they could be that took forever to figure it out. I mean, a lot of those levels would only have like 10 levels in it. And you'd still be expected to pay 60, $50. But they would, there's so many NES games that I've never beat. Go down. There you go, Roy Montez, everybody. In the flesh, in the flesh. You working out tomorrow, Roy? Okay, all right, we got a little truck level. I got this. I got this. Okay, didn't know you could do that. This is no problem. Best to ever do it. 
Be Fit Live, episode 100. Oh my gosh, that's right. I knew it was coming up. So episode 100 of Be Fit is going to be tomorrow at 11 Central Standard Time. I will be there, Roy. That is such an accomplishment. That is amazing. Episode 100. Yes, Roy, the turtle. What a day. I'm at eight. I'm at episode eight. <laughs> you've done it. You've done it a hundred times. I'm on number eight. Well, we all start somewhere, right? Do you remember your uh, do you remember your eighth B Fit Live? Oh, okay. All right, next level. I can't believe we're already halfway through the stream. These streams are going by faster and faster and faster. Rumble in the zoo. Rumble in the zoo. I'm going to assume by this point that my levels are okay. and Because no one's told me otherwise. Oh, we've done graduated. We've done graduated from purple, guys. This, These are no problem. This is no problem. Oh. All right, we know we know this. We know this. Okay, good. Thank you, Shelly. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, we do have the wonderful Shelly in the mods holding it down for me. I appreciate you coming by every Tuesday night, Shelly. Couldn't do it without you. New move unlocked. Super dive attack. Press. Okay. We'll try it. Love it. That's supposed to be like a battle toad like Easter egg. If anyone knows, let let me know. I think it's like a collectible. But I bet that's like a battle toad reference. That's pretty cool. Alright, these guys are new. Oh man. I, I feel bad for that one. I'd really like one of those magical pizzas to show up. I bet there's a pizza right around the corner, too. Right there. I was so close. Who was your who when you played X Men? Who was your like go to X Men?
Nightcrawler. You would be a Nightcrawler. I get that. Look at that monkey. Look at that monkey. Oh, throwing bananas. Got him. Monkeys, monkeys. Quit it. I knew it. I knew it. Thank you, Olivia. Rooting me on. All right, looks like boss time. All right, this is for you, Olivia. Oh no, two of them. You're gonna get the horns, partner. Can you dig it, suckers? Oh, I didn't see the hole. I didn't see the hole. We got one I'm taking care of. I have no idea. I don't know who they are. He won't stop. There you go, Olivia. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember them from the cartoon. They may be some from the comic books, or I have no idea. So I believe Casey Jones is a uh, unlockable character on here. I've seen some gameplay with Casey, or I think I've seen it. He's not, he wasn't in the list, but I think maybe if you, you beat the game once or something, he unlocks or he's an unlockable. Because I know it's a six player uh, co-op, so that would be insane too if we get six people to play this all at once. That would be a lot going on for sure. Oh, I bet this is Rat King. 
Y'all remember Rat King? Has to be. That train makes my eyes go like cross-eyed whenever it comes in the foreground. I don't know if y'all want to hear that music, but that's so good. It's like a remix to like that old... Oh no, this is a this is a nostalgia kind of kind of day for sure. This is a trip. Now I gotta start playing like I'm a kid. I gotta start like wanna jump. Oh, that feels like it was a wasted little. Fair enough. Frogs. Only two guys to a fight. Only one fight at a time, fellas. Guacamole. I was glancing, I was glancing, I was glancing. Turtles and Simpsons at the arcade were probably my go-tos, yeah. Oh, Cruising World, or Cruising USA. I remember that, that was at uh, CC's Pizza.
Rat King. Already. That was a short level. Felt short. Oh my gosh. Thumbs up if y'all remember it. What is going on here? Oh, dang. Okay. Hey, thanks, MWR. Glad you're here. How did the, um, if you're still here, MWR, how did uh, Soldier Showdown 4 go? How did the t Halo tournament go? I saw, I, uh, I tuned into uh, Sergeant Mackle's uh, Twitch stream this weekend for a little bit, so it was good to see him again. figure this guy out yet. I apologize. I'm trying to be entertaining, but there's a lot going on on this one. Yeah, I have all I have all the soldier showdown for. I want to go over that right after this level. Too good. Too good. Got his jazz flute out. The Pied Piper. All right. Well, now that we got Sergeant Mackle here, let's talk about Soldier Showdown 4. Let's see what we got here. So right here, so July 9th, uh, last week they played uh, Halo. They had the... Um, yeah, the Halo tournament this past weekend. Next, this July 9th is coming up just a couple weeks. We have the 1v1 uh, Madden tournament, so you don't need a teammate or anything like that. Just sign up for that at armymwr.com slash esports. Uh, so we have, they have some fantastic prizes, but if you will head on over to armymwr.com slash esports. Let's see here. Got my buttons. I got my buttons. Yeah, you'll be able to go over there, read some of the rules, read some of the fantastic prizes that the exchange has uh, has to offer. So that's Soldier Showdown 4, that's Army MWR, um, armymwr.com slash esports to uh, sign up. And then, there we go. And that's going to be July 9th. Let's see if I can do the, the pointing right. There we go. Pointing right, right there. There we go. July 9th, that's a 1v1 tournament. July 16th, 2v2. July 23rd is another 2v2. And then at the end of the month, they're going to have another 1v1 tournament. I can't tell you how proud I am of MWR and, and being a part of this and being able to, to speak on the Soldier Shutdown 4. It sounds like so much fun. So if you guys are Madden pros, and even if you're not Madden pros, sign up. You never know. Uh, you might be able to surprise yourself with a few dubs. So with that, we're going to move on to the... I don't know. What level are we on? <laughs> Show you later, Zeke. Oh, so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so the last tournament will be on Twitch again. That's awesome. I need to get on that Twitch. I need to get on that Twitch with y'all. That's what I need to do. That's next. More meltdown. 
Mall Meltdown. I don't I don't know who this could be either. I feel like I fought all the all the ninja maybe Yeah, I feel like I fought all the ones that I know, all the bad guys that I know. Oh, that juggle feels good. They're just trying to get some food. They're just trying to get their grub on. Y'all gonna work that out for me? Y'all get me? Y'all gonna get? Y'all gonna get me Twitch famous? What is this thing? There is a surprisingly large number of enemy types in this game. I know they all look like foot soldiers, but like a lot of games, they will only have one or two or three or four different types of enemy. And every single one of these colors of foot soldiers, like you have to, you have to approach a lot of them in different ways. animation smash a bots smash a bots well played well played son well played, sir. Spam flying kicks. That doesn't... The flying kick isn't as... There's another battle toad. Punk frogs are calling them. There's no way that's not a battle toad reference. Oh, there they are. There you two are. Oh, can't see. So you can't see, like, this is a good example. Like, you can't jump with those guys. I feel like I was just playing for, like, 30 seconds with my mouth, like, wide open. Like a seven-year-old. guys aren't quite as bad as they probably look like they are. Got a disgusting bug.
All right. Oh, the man himself. The man himself. Oh, who is this? Tempstra. No idea. All right. See what you got, Tempestra. Fair enough. Both of them. I knew that nasty. All right, come on, come on. Take one at a time. Old school game, one at a time. Gosh, again. I really think, I think I'm trying to take care of the, the turtle first, and I think I need to take care of that wolf guy first. Because that... That cloud thing he's got is annoying. Oh no! I was so close. I go mouth wide open all over again. Best to ever do it. Best to ever do it. Well, guys, I cannot tell you how much fun that was. Uh, something different. I know we played Halo for the past couple weeks, and that has been a blast, and I'm sure that's not the last time we will have Halo right here on the channel. Uh, but I appreciate everyone that tuned in tonight. It was fantastic. Had a great time. Please head on over to uh, armymwr.com slash esports. Uh, sign up for the Soldier Showdown 4. Uh, if you're a Madden guy of any type, uh, be sure to register. They got some fantastic prizes. Uh, check those links below. Uh, if you got anybody's birthday coming up, or, you know, treat yourself. Get yourself something nice. It's tax-free. You earned it. Um, and if you're not verified and you don't have an account, head on over to shopmyexchange.com slash vets and get verified. It's too easy. There's no statute of limitations. If you ever served, uh, by all means, get on there. If you ever served in the military, get on there and get verified and get your account all set up and be able to take uh, advantage of all these great deals. I would also be remiss if I did not congratulate uh, our BFIT ambassador, Roy Montez, uh, his 100th show um, is going to be tomorrow. So I cannot, uh, I cannot stress enough what an accomplishment that is for Roy. So please tune in. It's going to be right here uh, uh, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, Roy Montez, BFIT Live, 
episode 100. So congratulations, Roy. Um, and with that, we're going to end the stream today. I had a fantastic time, guys. We're going to be right back here next week, uh, Tuesday, 7 Central Standard Time. I think we're building up a fantastic community. Uh, I couldn't be more proud uh, of, of what we've done in just these eight episodes. We've had so much fun, and uh, it keeps getting better and better. So thank you all for the support. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out more than you think. And with that, um, I'll, sell, I'll tell you guys just good night, and uh, have a great week, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys.